Hey everybody, it's Just101, and welcome to a new episode of Plants vs. Zombies. In this episode, we will be continuing. In the previous episode, we got um, most of the plants. We got up to level 1-4, one, one and we just got the Walnut, which is a very good defensive plant. So I believe this is the level where they start to make the five lanes, isn't it? Yep, I, I knew it was coming up. So this is what you'll be seeing for the first world. So, yes. So just immediately start out with some flowers, and in in the early parts of the game like this, you only need one row, really. You don't really need that many sunflowers. But in the later stages, they're probably going to need to make a little more rows. So, yeah. I'm, I'm going to try to spoil the, at least a little of the game as I can for people who have not played it. I'll try my hardest to do that. Um, there isn't too many spoilers to this game, really. It's not like much of the game is shocking at all. Or anything. Okay. So yes, that zombie zombie should be dead. As long as he's not halfway across the lawn, he should be dead by the time he gets to that pea shooter. So yes, I have played so many hours of this game. Not on Steam, though. In Steam, I only have about, like, 50 hours in the game. But, and like... Actually, speaking of that, you can add me on Steam if you want. I'm up to play Team Fortress 2 or anything with anybody. Yeah, so yeah, my Steam ID will probably be in the description below if I remember to put it in. So yeah, if it isn't, just leave a comment and I'll put that in. Say so you can add me on Steam. We can trade on Team Fortress 2. We could, oh, I would say play Plants for Zombies, but there's no multiplayer thing. But we can compare to leaderboards and stuff. Whatever. So yeah. Alrighty, we're doing pretty good here killing the zombies. I probably could have made a second row with some flowers, but I was too lazy. And what I would recommend doing is always keep your sunflowers behind your other plants because they are not defensive walls. They're not meant to kill things. And oh crap, there's a cone there. I need to get another pea shooter up. But yeah, just keep your sunflowers behind your plants. Then I would recommend the attacking plants. And then I'd recommend defensive plants after them because they're meant to protect those other plants. And then you can use the cherry bomb, for example, to put it in like in the very, very front lines. And the cherry bomb actually will explode in like a 3x3 radius. So if I put it here, for example, it would blow up all these surrounding things right here. So yeah. Cherry bombs are good if you need just a backup. You need to make sure, like, for example, if I didn't put any pea shooters here and this cone was already to here, I just use a plant. I just use a cherry bomb and just explode it. You don't want to rely on those guys, though. You do not want to rely on. Uh, I believe they're actually called solution to temporary problem or something like that. It's a temporary solution to a permanent problem. So, yeah. An explanation for that. <laughs> so, yeah. Hope the recording's going smoothly. I haven't really been messing around that much with fraps. I just got it and I really didn't mess with the files too much. So yeah. Um what else should we talk about? Oh yeah, um by the time this is uploaded, Sugar Kong might have already uploaded his LP, but I'm extremely excited for Sugar Kong's LP next LP. I couldn't even imagine what it is. If it's plants vs zombies, I'll cry. Just saying. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, but I would just I'll, I would I don't know. I don't think he'd do a PC game though. I don't know if that's what he does or anything. Final wave. Oh yeah, and also this flag zombie right here that signifies the next wave, he actually is different from regular zombies. He's not any stronger, he just goes a teeny bit faster than the other zombies. But it's not enough to make a difference, he's usually still dead. Because I don't believe those guys can have cones or anything on their head. So yes. I wonder where we're going to get the all-mac, because I know the next level is a... Uh, Random level. It is not an official level. It's a mini game level. So we'll see when we get there. Oh, that zombie should be dead. Yes, died right before it, and you should be dead too. Okay, we got the shovel. All this does is it's not a plant. Quite obviously, all you do is just use it, and then you can get rid. Of, you can get rid of your plants, but you do not get the sun back. So make sure you know you want to place things before there. And here is our main friend through the Avenger. His name is Crazy Dave, and obviously he's crazy. So, he'll be helping you throughout the game. He has a shop later in the game where you can open. Actually, the shop isn't. The shop's, I think, in like the next world. So, so yeah. You can uh, buy stuff from him. He's a very helpful person. He gives you a lot of things. He's really helpful. And here he's showing you uh, how to use the shovel. Push it. 
You can get rid of the plants like this. Pretty easy. And now here's the first mini game. One one five. There will be. Yeah. Days crazy. One point five. Um, you actually play a bowling mini game. And this is a mini game that you can play later in the game too. Um, yes. And this regular zombies are a one to hit. Cone heads are a two hit. And I don't believe I have any any other zombie types at the moment, but. You usually want to wait for them to get farther in the level so you can hit multiple ones because they bounce off each other. I don't believe there's any way to tell the way it's going to go. If you put something in the top row, it's guaranteed to go down. And if you put something in the bottom row here, it's guaranteed to go up. But besides that, I don't remember uh, how to make stuff bounce. Like If you push it in the middle, it's pretty much just going to bounce a random way, I believe. I haven't figured out a pattern yet. But yeah, you'll see it'll collide with other zombies. It's extremely helpful so you can save yourself from some walnuts. I mean, these are explosive. These are basically just cherry bombs, but in explosive in walnut form, and they're really helpful. So yes. you'll you'll be facing these mini games every five levels. So yeah, they're usually pretty easy, and they're not like common or something or anything. It's not like you'll be playing these 24/7. It's just kind of it's kind of a nice break from the regular zombie killing action. Yeah, and, and some mini games do actually get a bit tougher, but you know. So, yeah. I wouldn't say this is my least favorite role because, oh man, anybody that's played this game knows their least favorite role because it stinks, but we're not there yet, so I won't even talk about it. <laughs> that's not for, I, that's world four. Even for world five, I think it's easier than that level. We'll, we'll get there. But I despise that level with a passion. It's just such a hard level. It's not hard. It's just really annoying. But we'll get there in a minute. We're in the easy parts of the game, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna show what explosive nuts does. Yeah. And we will also be getting all the achievements. I'll try to show guys for at least most of the achievements. You know, not necessarily all of them, but I'll try to do most of them. So as you can see, if you notice, the, he is going a bit faster than that guy, but it's not really that much to make a difference. Go down. Yes. And we'll just use the explosive nuts because we can. And they're all dead. And now we got our next plant. This is a potato mine. You put him down, and then he explodes after a period of time. You have to wait, I believe, 15 or... Actually, it's not that long. I think about 10 seconds. 10, 10 seconds, and while he's doing that, he's helpless. But when he does pop out, then he will explode anything around it in a 2x2 two two radius, I believe. And now is actually our third zombie. That's a uh, pogo zombie. So yes, we will be getting into the pogo zombies in a bit. Basically, they have the same defenses as... They don't, they're not any stronger than the other types of zombies. But they run faster than any other zombie you've encountered. And they jump over the first plant they get to. So... If I had a walnut here, and then all my plants were behind this, if they got to this walnut right here, they would just jump right over it and start eating this. See, this walnuts are not effective against those guys. I'll show what the potato mine does. As you can see, it's preparing, so it's useless at the moment. And these facts, they're actually pretty helpful for, helpful for the beginning of the level, because they're very cheap, and they're very good at taking out beginning zombies. And that's exactly what they're made for, so... Okay, it popped out, so when that zombie gets to there, it'll explode. But they, they have a slow recharge rate. I should probably get into that, actually, when I think about it. Um, recharge rates is every single plant has a different recharge rate. Like, as you can see, pea shooters and sunflowers, they're pretty quick. But things like walnuts, potato mines, and cherry bombs, they take a very long time to recharge. So you can't just go spamming around cherry bombs. you got to wait a bit. Yeah, you gotta make sure you organize for that later in the game. Alrighty. I think I just broke the rule of two levels per video, but oh well. I'm sure you guys like longer videos. They just take an extremely long time to render on this computer. Which, you know, it's annoying, but whatever. Eh, yeah, I know. I'm going two rows because I just wanted to show what the... I want, I want to show what the cherry bomb does anyway, so... Okay. And down here you can see your level progress. By the zombie, we're about halfway. We haven't even encountered a pogo zombie yet. Watch, just give a pogo zombie. So you haven't encountered pogo zombies or anything. 
yes, this is what most of the beginning parts of the level will be. Just you'll be seeing this for a while until level two, and then the game completely goes changes. Okay, here is a Pogo zombie. Um, he runs a lot faster than the other zombies, and it's very recommend that you kill him before he gets to your defenses, which he's probably gonna get over this pea shooter. Let's see, is he going to? Yep, he's got over it. Hopefully that this pea shooter can. Yep, he just killed him. Okay, actually, I believe they might have a teeny bit more defenses. They're not as, not as much as a cone, though. I know. See, he just lost his arm. He just jumped over him. You should be die by this. Yeah. It's happening every time. Cone. I'm just gonna throw a potato mine out because they're so cheap. It doesn't matter. And by the way, each sunflower gives 25 sun. Same with the sun that falls from the sky. That will also happen. Well, actually, that's really helpful. He's gonna jump over this potato mine and make him easier to kill. You'll see this. See, he jumped over the potato mine, but now he, when he jumps over the potato mine and loses his pull, he goes a lot slower. So, yeah. And he almost got to the plant, but he died. Alrighty. I just like throwing out potato mines a lot of the time. They're just very helpful. Okay, here's the final wave. I believe there's only one pogo stick. Not pogo stick, guys. Those aren't for a very long time. I think that's the only uh, pull Bolton guy. Yeah, just, I didn't even have, even have enough time to make sure of the pea shooters, but later in the game, you will. <laughs> Trust me. I'll show you Cherry Bomb. Oh, never mind. And here is our, I believe, seventh plant. Oh, this is our sixth plant. This is a p ice pea shooter. What's his name? Snow pea. Basically, he shoots the same things as the regular pea shooters. They do the same amount of damage, but this guy actually freezes the zombies and makes them move a lot slower. And we will be using them in the next level, guys. So, already next time we will be continuing with Plants vs Zombies, showing out the snow pea, and yeah. So.